Uh, um, that seems like a good segue into the uh, realm of conspiracy theories. Because <laughs> <laughs> you just launched a podcast on the... Uh, oh, yeah. I'm doing a podcast called The X-Files Files on Feral Audio. It's going to be about The X-Files. It's for almost nobody. <laughs> what do you mean, gonna be? You're on your... your it up. is, yeah. yeah. Well, episode three comes out. Dan uh, is on it. Uh, it's a really great episode. We episode about. Four. It's episode four of the X Files, episode three of the podcast. Oh, it's oh, okay. I mean, this I is go by X Files. I go by X Files. Very poorly thought out. This is going to be confusing <laughs> and inaccessible uh, by design. Did, oh. it, came, it came out of the gate very successful. I only have one uh, experience with one podcast, which also came out of the gate very successful. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I, I just uh, do, do. Do new podcasts always kind of end up like on the front pages and the things because of their algorithm? Or Not always, but I think what they do, iTunes algorithm, this is, I don't know if this is interesting. If, you just, if you're just tuning in to uh, <laughs> pod, the podcast, file cast, file. <laughs> I was going to say the podcast files, cast, podcast, but that's an actual files. podcast. <laughs> it's, it, it like weights, the way it weights new subscribers more than existing subscribers. So if you get like, if I get 100 more, that means more that sends me up higher up the charts than someone who has thousands of subscribers. So, so in the beginning, you end up higher because you're getting new subscribers and new reviews and stuff more. It's, so. kind of, it's, like, a, it's like a gold rush. It's like a manifest destiny. It's like they're, it's like they're incentivizing it's a, settlers. It, it is exactly that. Because I was like, I'll just do this and I'll do it every now and then. Who cares? And then they're and like, then, wow, you're really good at this. Yeah. Which is it, what Scientology says to you. Exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> or like when you draw Tippy Turtle for the art school thing. <laughs> And you, you send in your shittily drawn turtle, and you always get back. I think it goes, whoa, stop the press. Yeah. Michelangelo, I think you might be good enough to give us $5,000. Talk to your parents. That's a good-looking turtle. That is exactly what this was. Because it was number one in comedy for like 10 days. And then you're like, wait, why is it what? Why is it 11 now? Yeah, what happened? Fucking and, Marin! Yeah. I'll tell you, I was very happy for the few days it was above Marin's podcast. Oh. I flirted with taking a screenshot and sending it to him, but I knew I would regret it for the rest of my days. He's got to be so sick of that. He's like a, he's like a, a yield sign in some hillbilly highway. He's just filled with buckshot. Like, like yeah. everyone that drives by... Uh, <laughs> that everyone that has a new podcast is going to like take that screenshot of I beat Marin. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not yeah. really true. Well, well, not everybody who gets a new podcast gets <laughs> to beat Marin. Just very, you know, rare uh, X-Files-based <laughs> podcasts get to do that. 